Hi, how are you today? Great to see all of your wonderful smiling and happy faces on this beautiful Friday afternoon in November. Today we're talking about audition and premiere workflow tips using that round trip technology and those apps together and how to process your dialogue in the best, most efficient way when you're doing video production. So the first thing with most commercial video production, you're gonna have dialogue audio, which is driving your narrative for the most part. So this is audio from your interview subject, this is voiceover, this is any sort of audio from the human voice that's driving the narrative and that needs to be blended in with music and sound effects and other things like that, but how do you edit it? There's a couple different ways to do this using Audition as well. So when you're in your timeline, you can actually find the audio that is the dialogue portion. You can look at it, you can go up to your audio track mixer up here on the left side, toggle down this disclosure triangle, and you can actually put plugins on the channel right here, mess with the levels down here and fader and, and edit it that way. That to me is a little bit cumbersome. Uh, Premiere doesn't have the best engine for its audio, so when you're actually putting those plugins on your channel, Premiere will tend to have a hard time with that and stuff will pop in and out. I haven't found that to be the best way. The other thing you can do is select all your clips in the timeline, control click or right click depending on if you're Mac or PC and hit edit in Adobe Audition. And as every single one of those open up, it seems like this is a good option, and it really is if you don't have many clips to edit, but when you have so many like this particular project, every single one is now in Audition. You're gonna have to let each one load up. You're gonna have to wait for the wave interpolator to work, and then you're gonna process each one probably with the same thing. It'll take forever. You're gonna be saving, you're gonna be saving, you're gonna be moving on, you're gonna be saving. Now that actually does work great if you don't have that many clips, but if you have a lot of clips, this is a very cumbersome process. So what do I recommend for doing this well. Here's a trick that I have come up with for editing audio dialogue after you've already done your edit that is the most efficient. You see, this is where their dialogue actually is. This is what you want to process. This is what you want to boost the levels of, add your compression and your EQ, and add a limiter to it. So head over to your sequence and hover your mouse over the piece of dialogue that you want to edit. In this case, it says zoom to track one. So we'll go over here to our project window, open up the audio folder, assuming you're effectively organized, which is incredibly important when you're doing stuff like this. Disclose your triangle next to zoom two, find track one, and boom, there is the entire audio file from that entire recorded interview. Control click or right click and hit edit in Adobe Audition. Select clip. It's gonna do the exact same render and replace process, but the difference here is you're just taking out that entire audio file which has been spliced up in your timeline instead of taking your individual clips. So the end goal here is the same. You're gonna get processed dialogue into your sequence at the end, but we're going about it in two different ways. So once that opens up in Adobe Audition, it does take a while to interpolate because typically interviews are longer. This one, I guess, was about 54 minutes long. So that wave reader is gonna take a while to interpolate all that data, but once that's done, you can go in and actually do your processing on the entire clip by itself. So being in Audition, we've talked about this on this channel before, but over here in the effects rack, this is where you're gonna apply your compressors, your limiters, your EQ. So then when you have your entire rack complete for that particular piece of dialogue, hit apply. And again, this applies it through the actual entire piece of dialogue, bakes in all those effects. So you gotta make sure that you're totally done when you're in audition because it's gonna return back into Premiere a finished piece of process dialogue with no ability to reprocess unless you bring it back in, hit control Z, that kind of thing. So now this is another key part of the whole process. Once the dialogue effects have been baked into the file, you have to hit save. You see this little asterisk next to the file name? It is not yet saved, and once it's saved, it actually puts it into the new file that Audition created in the same subdirectory where the original piece of audio was. So in this case, we're gonna hit File, Save, which I rarely do, I usually just hit Command S. Now that it's saved, it's completely done, you can navigate back over to Premiere Pro, and now here's the really important and final critical step. You'll see here in your project window, you do have the new piece of audio. Audition has automatically created it and saved it and brought it into Premiere, but it is not in your sequence because it needs to replace the original piece of audio this is the shortcut to get that final finished piece of audio to just fit in your already created cuts. Save you a lot of steps, save you a lot of hassle. So how you do that is you right click on your original piece of audio or control click, and then you head to replace footage. Now you navigate to your pertinent audio folder, find where it exactly was based on its file naming structure, and inside that exact subdirectory is going to be the brand new piece of audio that you just created in Audition. Click on that, hit open, and watch your sequence go dark for just a minute, and then the new piece of audio will be brought in exactly where your cut points were, perfectly synced, saving you lots of time, 
lots of headache. So if you're not bringing your entire sequence into Audition to mix it that way and do like a mastering file at the end, this is an excellent shortcut to get your dialogue mixed properly after you've edited and then actually do it that way and then bring it back into Premiere. Short, simple, and to the point. Let me know how you do your dialogue mixing, whether you use Audition in Premiere or Logic in Final Cut or whether you're just in Premiere, just in Final Cut, and you're actually not taking your dialogue anywhere else. How do you do it? Let me know in the comments. You know I love to interact with the keyboards. Be sure and hit like. Don't forget to subscribe. Remember, we're moving towards greatness together, hand in hand. And I will see you all next week. Great.